to the St. Michael's Road there. Over the other side of St. Michael's Road you'll actually find the original River Brock. So the river that runs through those trees roughly. And the new River Brock, which is a man-made river essentially to get the, the, uh, the drainage water away, is, is in those trees down there. It gives you some idea that this whole area was probably uh, crossed by a river at various times, very flat. So the river's probably meandered right across it. So you're going to have very uh, alluvial soils, I suspect, across the fields. But you can just check that. So oh, we've got Group One at Masco. Tell us about your soil. <laughs> There's like three obvious. Do you want to get down and point to them? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So we have this bottom layer, this is a really grey layer, um, and then it kind of moves up to a more... Oh. <laughs> okay. So the soil down here is really grey. That's like our... Uh, Sticky, yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's really good. So, what can you say about where we are? I mean, we're by the river, aren't we? That's really important. Yeah, we thought the rocks might be quite round, so erosion might be good. Okay. Okay, so cool. we're uh, now at uh, Group Two. So we've moved a little bit away from the river in the in the woods and the orchard. So over to Group Two now to describe their soil to us. Whoop, we dug a hole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've got a three obvious horizons. So we've got the A horizon at the top, and we've got a really peaty kind of B horizon, and then the third one was like another peaty bit sitting in two. Um, and we were thinking that uh, the, the horizon at the bottom is really sandy, um, it's, it's quite light, um, and we were thinking back to earlier when we were being told that it was potentially an estuary and there were, there were dunes, so we think the bottom, bottom horizons from the sand dunes and then we had the Blackpool um, building and they're going to be waterlogged, yeah, waterlogged um, and so the organic mass is not going to decay and that's why we've got the really big, big, big thick black band. Oh, now it's a Group 3 site and uh, we've walked a little bit further away from the river now. We've just come out of the orchard. Now look at this one. This is a really funky one. Over to Group 3. Uh, so we have sort of an A and a B horizon, very clear. Uh, on the top of this is lighter yellowy, light brown, so that we can see. And at the bottom, we hit peat. Um, so it's about, we measure 40 centimetres of pale brown material at the top. Uh, and then in the centre, there's actually a faint band of grey soil, measured to be about 5 centimetres. And then another 40 centimetres of peat bog, so that goes down there. Um, and I don't know if you can see, but above the peat layer, we have sort of patches of red, and um, we think they might be sort of little channels or, or pipes throughout the soil where the water has flown, and the red would indicate that it's been oxidised. Um, so, yeah, that was just a theory. Uh, texture all the way through, I would say, but only the colour changes. So, I'd say it's like an A horizon, and this is like an A1, and this is. An A2. So it's merging into the Yeah, B. yeah. Yeah. It's not as clearly defined. So, um, yeah. I think it's just going to feel the same. So here we are. <laughs> <laughs> Group four. 
And uh, we're going to describe now. We've come over the fence and we're in the field now. Look, here it is, a bit of a field, a bit of uh, occasionally grazed by sheep and parked on by cars. And what have we got here then? Whoa. <laughs> we've got, we think we've got an aerial horizon here because it's darker. Um, and then this is our A horizon up to this point, and then it changes colour completely. So this is our B horizon? Yep. Yep. Um, we think we have a, another horizon at the bottom. Um, because when you touch it, looks, this the colour looks the same as the B horizon, but when you touch it, it feels completely different. So we just need to do some more analysis on that. Okay, that sounds good. Good. Uh, it's mottled as well. Okay, which that's good. Some of the more foggy. Yeah. Uh, but did we say that it was good drainage? Yeah, yeah. good drainage. Um, and it's compact because of the sheep and the car parking. Brilliant. We'll, we'll be done. further up the field and we've got Nick. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Nick's going to uh, describe his pit to us. Look at that, it's full of water. Alright, uh, it's one quite complicated, I think. So uh, we've got the O rise at the top, it's quite short again. It's like uh, over there in the field. And then the A1, which you can see is quite a bit lighter, goes down to here. And then it starts off. There's a few bands of grey and orange sort of leaked through as well. Uh, all the way down to here. Oh, and this, this orange layer is sort of a deeper orange and a lot sandier. I took a bite out of it to be sure. Uh, <laughs> and then it gets sort of really grey down there, which I think is just where the water table has been and moved all, the, moved it all around. Well done. So what does that grey in indicate then? An excellent question. It, well, it indicates it's wet, basically. Okay. Yeah. Indicates yeah. clean. From group six, and her soil profile has filled with water over lunch. <laughs> Hi, Sophie. Hi. Tell us about it then. Um, so basically, we did have a really orange layer and grey layer at the bottom, which you can't see. You can see a little bit of it, like, just kind of going into the water. And then, so that was like bam. Grey layer at the bottom, and then this is like our main A horizon kind of down to about here ish. And then we hit a pipe, which is why the water's there. So we don't think it's actually the water table, it's just the pipe that's leaking. Um, and then the, the grey layer, layer was like really silty, and then the orange layer was quite, quite sandy. And, so yeah. and then this top layer is really clay as well. It's quite thick and really compacted. So bottom layers at the top. Yeah. One at the very bottom. Excellent. Group six, well done. Yeah, we're at the last uh, sample site. Look, here we are. Look, we've come across all this field. We're all stood around, and Bree's going to describe soil seven to us now. Hi, Bree. <laughs> so we had two, well, we had the top layer and then the A horizon and the B horizon. The B horizon's a little bit darker. And then the B horizon is a little bit sandier, and it has a lot of modeling, which um, is because the water table is so close, and so it's been rising and falling, which results in the iron oxidizing and reducing again. Um, and there's also a little spots in it, and those are spots of concentrated um, organic material. Just up. Yeah, and we hit the water table. Which <laughs> has been coming up. We're the winning team and we love snow.